Hey guys, Craig with Bed Bug Bites, that's B-Y-T-E-S dot com, and we're here at a hotel room, and we want to give you a few tips on how to inspect that hotel room when you come to stay to make sure you don't take any of these critters home with you. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do when I come in the hotel room is I take my luggage right here, and this is our example of our luggage, and I set it down either on the tile right as I enter the door, or I take it into the bathroom, and I'll put it up on the counter in the bathroom, or on the tile floor itself. The reason the tile floor in the bathroom is so good and one of your best spots or the counter is the floor itself has the tile going up the side and it's just highly unlikely you're gonna have bud bugs hiding in the bathroom itself because of that, opposed to a carpeted area with a wood baseboard going around it. Um, once I have my, my luggage set down, I come over and I start my inspection on the mattress itself. That's the first place I like to start. And when I'm doing that, I start with the pillows. So. When you start inspecting the pillows, you want to do a visual inspection front and back of the pillow. You want to actually take the pillow out of its case. This is where you're going to have them if they are hiding in the pillow. You're going to have rips in the pillow. You're going to have holes in it. They could have a zipper, which is a case cover, which this one has. And you'll want to zip that back and you'll want to look inside there. These are the areas that these guys are going to hide. They're not going to be just sitting out there going, hey, how you doing? Lay down, let me bite you. So, do that visual inspection of the pillows. Once they look good, go ahead and move them out of your way and start your inspection on the actual mattress, mattress itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll move this stuff out of the way so we can get started. I like to do the inspection at least halfway down. So we'll show you one side, but go at least halfway down. And then if you feel not comfortable with that, you wanna do the whole thing, tear the thing apart. Whatever gives you peace of mind to go to sleep at night knowing you're not getting bit or taking unwanted guests home with them. So go ahead and move this back. Expose the actual mattress itself. You're going to have to get down here and do some work. But look and make sure you have no signs of bed bugs or blood splatter on the mattress itself. It's not going to stick out red. It's going to be more of a brown dot. It's dried blood. Um, peel the mattress seams back with your fingers and just guide along and make sure top and bottom of that seam as you press it back, you don't see any indication of bed bugs, of egg sacs. Egg sacs are gonna be little dots. They could be like a, like a creamy white all the way to a dark speck. Anything that just doesn't look like it should be there, you know, just make sure it's clear and it looks good. Once a mattress, as far as you're concerned, has nothing on it, go ahead and if you need two people, slide it back halfway. We'll just slide this one back a little bit. We're going to expose the actual box spring itself. This is a hot spot for bed bugs, the box spring. It's most likely they're going to either be in the seam of the mattress, the box spring, or the headboard. And we'll address the headboard in just a second. The box spring is going to have either a skirt going around it, or it's going to have an actual cover. This one looks like it has a cover, so let's go ahead and just yeah, fill it back, and you'll expose that box spring. You're doing the same type of inspection on the box spring as you would the mattress. It's just typically not going to have seams on it. You're going to look for any indication. They'll be up on top if it's a heavy infestation to hiding down in the corner. That moves. But let's see if we can, on some of these box springs, they'll have a plastic. It's just a protective bumper. That's a hot spot for us. This one doesn't have it, but if you'll peel that little plastic piece back that wraps around on the corners of the box springs themselves, a lot of times you can expose your infestation right there. If that looks good, everything else looks good in your box spring, then go ahead and put your bed back together and you should be good to go. Like I said, if you want to go more extreme, you can flip the box spring, you can look for cracks and crevices, they will hide in the actual box spring of the wooden frame of how they make it up, but you're going to have to do some work to get to that. But if it gives you that peace of mind, flip the box spring and then put it back in place and you're good to go. This one, everything looks good. We're actually checking into this room tonight. It all looks clean. In this room, it also has a sleeper sofa. You're gonna do this inspection the same way you did your mattress inspection. Go ahead and move your pillows out of the way. What's nice about this hotel room, there's no carpet. It's laminate floor all throughout. So that makes it even easier to inspect the room. Um, once you do the inspection of this sofa, Go ahead, like I said, pull it out. It's gonna be a bed, it's a thinner mattress. Inspect this just like you would the mattress itself. Once you feel comfortable with that, go ahead and put it back. That's the only other thing right here I would inspect for right now. I would also do my box, my, I'm sorry, my headboard over here. We sort of left that out. But the headboard itself will either pull off the wall 
If you can't get it off the wall easily, then go ahead and just visually inspect that. If you have a light on your phone, use that to get behind it and just the best you can look back there and make sure you have no indication. When we do these jobs and we do heat treatments and we do a lot of hotel rooms, we pull this off. When we pull that off, it lifts up, it pulls out, so it's hanging on a board back here. That board is typically where we find the bed bugs and we find them where they've wrapped the fabric around the backside of that headboard. And as we run our fingers down there and peel that fabric back a little bit, a lot of times that headboard comes alive. And it's, it's just a nasty thing. They're just waiting to come out at night for the next guest to lay down and get bit. So make sure you inspect that. The seams, the box spring itself underneath, and the headboard are your hot spots when you're inspecting for bed bugs in a hotel. Once I feel comfortable with that, I grab my luggage from where I either have it on the floor or on a counter, and I put it onto the luggage rack, which this hotel we've already found doesn't have a luggage rack, but that's fine. They got a hard surface here, so we're going to put it on the hard surface. We're going to inspect the dresser drawers. This one has two, however many you have. Actually, there's two more over there. Anywhere, anywhere you're going to put stuff, clothing especially, make sure you open it up, you inspect the seams all the way around, and make sure you don't show any indication of bed bugs themselves. Another hot one that people don't think about is if you bring in a roll-in bed, you want to check that roll-in bed. You could have made sure that your room was perfectly bed bug free, and here comes that roll-in mattress for that extra guest or that extra kid, and bam, it comes in on that. So definitely check that roll-in bed when it comes in. My luggage right here would go right here like I showed you, like I talked about, and you should be good to go. This is the worst place that you can put your luggage, and I'm guilty of this. Before we knew what we were doing years ago, I'd come into a hotel room, and I'd put it right on the bed. This is where you're going to take the bed bugs home. It's going to be from your mattress, box ring, into your luggage. It's most likely not going to be on your body. I'm not saying you can't take them home on your body, but this is where they usually pick up a ride and go home with you for free. So if you'll just spend that short amount of time to do a thorough inspection on your hotel room, you're giving yourself a good chance to not take these critters home with you. And it's going to cost you thousands of dollars to have an exterminator come in and rid your house of bed bugs if you do take them home. So do yourself a favor, take that five minutes, just inspect your hotel room, and then enjoy the rest of your vacation. In future videos, we'll show you how to eradicate. If you can't afford heat treatment, we'll show you pesticide options. We'll show you IGRs which in a nutshell without getting into it, it basically disrupts the reproduction cycle of the bed bug and stops them from reproducing and basically kills the cycle when they die off. So we'll go into that in more depth. If you have any questions um, or any concerns about this video and you'd like to comment, just comment on the video at bedbugbites.com, B-Y-T-E-S. Um, or if you have anything you want us to do in future videos or any questions you want me to answer, feel free, let us know. Thanks for watching.